Our first topic is to introduce and define what is criminology. When I say criminology, it is actually derived from the Latin word crimen, which means accusation, and Greek term lugia or logi, which means the study. So basically, criminology is the study of crime and criminal behavior. There are actually different meanings and definitions of criminology that introduced to us by the uh, prominent personalities in the field of criminology. But the uh, universally accepted definition of criminology that states that it is the entire body of knowledge that focuses on the uh, three fundamental elements, which is the crime, which is the main focus of our criminal justice system, followed by the uh, criminals, which is the main character of our criminal justice system or the main actor of our criminal justice system and of course the uh, society or the effort of the society to prevent and repress the uh, criminality and the occurrence of crime in the society. In the Philippines, criminology is legally defined under Section 4, Letter E of Republic Act 11131 or also known as the Philippine Criminology Profession Act of 2018 that states that criminology is the uh, scientific study of crimes, criminals, and victims. As we all know that victims is the uh, forgotten person or the uh, forgotten individual in our criminal justice system. So dito, pinalawak niya yung definition niya. Based on, or if we're going to compare, on the uh, universally accepted definition of criminology na focus siya sa crimes, criminals, and the uh, society or the effort of the society. Dito sa ating batas, dito sa Pilipinas, which is the uh, 11131, okay? The uh, trending, so nakalagay doon yung three elements sa crime, criminals, and victims. So binibigyan na ng importance yung... Uh, rights ni victims under our new law. Furthermore, nakalagay dito that criminology used in prevention and uh, in the solution of crimes because of the uh, scientific study. So kapag sinabi natin scientific study, the uh, authorities or the uh, criminologist uses scientific method. So merong process or step na sinusunod to uh, resolve a particular crime. Let's talk about the uh, development of criminology. So during 18th century, so we have what we call the classical criminology. So meron tayong tinatawag na classical theory and the classical school of thought. So kapag ang tinatanong, theory, ang isasagot natin dyan is theory. Kapag ang tinatanong naman is the, uh, the school, so ang isasagot natin is the classical school of thoughts. So dito sa classical criminology, meron tayong tinatawag na free will doctrine. Ano naman yung free will doctrine na yun? Pag sinabi natin free will doctrine, an individual has the right to choose what is right from what is wrong. So basically, meron siyang choices to go on on the right path or on the wrong path. Then during 19th century, because of the uh, certain developments na dumating or improvements in the study of criminology, meron tayong tinatawag na modern criminology. And uh, in the 20th century, meron tayong tinatawag na independent criminology. So, ano yung tinatawag natin na independent criminology? So, babalik tayo ngayon sa history pala, makonect natin bakit merong independent criminology. Kasi before, yung uh, criminology is under the umbrella of sociology. Pag sinabi natin sociology, Socio, which means society, and logi, which means study. So, it is the uh, study of society. So, yung criminology, under yan siya sa umbrella ng sociology. So, kung susumahin natin, or kung titingnan natin, sociology is the mother science of criminology. And during 20th century, na, nagkaroon na tayo ng independent criminology or nagkaroon na tayo ng kalayaan. So, ano ibig sabihin nun? 
we are no longer under the umbrella of sociology. So, it means we are an independent science or a separate uh, field of study. So, yan yung ibig sabihin ng independent criminology. Again, during 18th century, we have the classical criminology. 19th century, we have the modern criminology. And the uh, 20th century, so we are now on the independent criminology. There are actually three sciences that dominated the study of criminology. So, nabagit ko na kanina, yung isa, yung pinaka-main, we have the uh, sociology. Kasunod yan, yung psychology and the uh, psychiatry. So, ano ba yung kaibahan ng psychology sa psychiatry? Pag sinabi natin psychology, it focus on the study of human behavior or the uh, mental processes or paano tumatakbo yung utak ng isang tao. While the uh, psychiatry, they focus on the study of the mental illness or the mental disease of a particular person. A psychologist are not medical doctors. So they cannot prescribe medicine or they cannot diagnose mental diseases or mental illness. While the uh, psychiatrists, they are medical doctors, they are trained, they are experts, so they can diagnose mental illness or mental diseases. So sila lang yung pwedeng magsabi na may sakit ka sa utak or may problema sa pag-iisip mo. So yun yung trabaho ng psychiatry. So they can diagnose illness or diseases and they can prescribe medicine or pwede kang mabigyan ng medication. So yun yung pagkaibahan ng psychologist sa psychiatrist. Again, the three sciences that dominated the study of criminology, we have sociology. Again, sociology is the mother science of criminology. Kasunod niyan is psychology and then we have psychiatry. Okay, so if you have questions, clarifications, or any topics that you want to be discussed, so feel free to comment or to message directly our page. And don't forget to like the uh, official Facebook page of the Krim Coach Training and Educational Services. So once again, thank you very much and God bless us all. See you again.